fight card going on here at UFC 146 this Saturday, which is all heavyweights. First up is Stefan Shu versus LeVar Johnson. LeVar Johnson is a new add-on to this, so Stefan Shu does have a disadvantage in this fight. We go with LeVar Johnson if Stefan Shu cannot get it to the ground. Stipe Mind Kick versus Shane Del Rossio. I'm going to go with the Mind Kick. He, he does have some great KO power. He stopped LeVar Johnson, and uh, he, he's got the upper edge on Shane Del Rossio. I'm going with Stipe Mayoka. Roy Nelson versus Dave Herman. I'm going to go with Roy Nelson. He's on a two-fight losing streak, but he's losing He's losing the weight. He's getting better at his boxing, his jiu-jitsu. He's got great takedown. And Dave, Dave Herman's going to be in the world of hurt this week. <clears throat> Kane Velasquez versus Antonio Bigfoot Silva. I'm going to go with the national D1 champ in Kane Velasquez. He has great kickboxing skills. A brown belt in guerrilla jiu jitsu. On the other hand, Antonio Bigfoot Silva is a black belt in Brazilian jiu jitsu, a black belt in judo, and a black belt in karate. Uh, last loss for Cain Velasquez was Junior Dos Santos. And everybody knows how that happened. It was one punch, you're done. And the last, last loss for Antonio Bigfoot Silva is Daniel Cormier, which is training partners with Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez, another edge. He already has a recipe to beat. Antonio Bigfoot Silva, so I'm going with King Velasquez in this fight. Now the main event, Junior Dos Santos versus Frank Mir. Junior Dos Santos is a boxing background. He's got a brown belt, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and under the his mentor, Minotaur Nogueira, he's got KO power, and his mentality is fear no one. Frank Mir, black belt, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, black belt, Kenpo Karate, and great boxing skills. And he's got a tap or snap mentality. Ask Nogueira, ask Sylvia, ask whoever he's broken bones. You don't, if he locks you up in a submission, you better tap or your arm or leg is getting taken with you. Taylor Tape, Santos, 27, Mir, 33, height, 6'4 for Santos, 6'3 for Mir. 240 pounds is Santos, 260 is Mir. This is in their last weigh-ins. Weigh-ins will be today. <clears throat> Reach. Frank Mir has a 2 inch reach advantage. He's got 79 inch reach, whereas Santos has a 77. For my pick, I'm going to give it to Frank Mir because he's already he's already beaten the Noguera twice. And that's got to play a little role in Santos' mind because that's his mentor, somebody that he's looked up to. You've got to. You, Mir's got to get it to the ground and he's got to get a hold of a limb. Even if he doesn't get it to the ground, if he gets hit hard and he goes to the ground, does Dos Santos go to him? If he goes to him, it's going to be a long night. And if Mir can get out of the first round, definite advantage to Mir. Even though he's a 6-1 to one underdog, I would put $20 on Mir. You're gonna lose, if you lose, you lose 20 bucks. If you win, times that by 6. You got 140 bucks. So, my pick is for Mir. Excuse me, that's 120 bucks, not 140. So, my, my pick is for Mir. In the Junior Dos Santos, I'm gonna see, we're going to see a three-time heavyweight champ only the second time that this is going to happen. And, you know, Mir's going to keep setting records. He, he's the winningest champ in UFC history, or, excuse me, the winningest heavyweight in UFC history. He's going to keep extending this record, and he's going to set it high for the next guys to come break it. All right, that's my fight picks for this weekend for UFC 146. I hope you enjoy the fights like I'm going to, and... Keep watching my videos. Thank you very much, guys.